SCSSV Leak Repair Animation. Rig up seal tight pump box to control line at the wellhead and perform diagnostics to determine if the leak site is in the wellhead, control line, or SCSSV. Fill control line with hydraulic fluid. Pump hydraulic fluid through leak site and measure leak rate. Bleed control line to zero and catch returning hydraulic fluid until well fluid, gas, is observed. Shut in and use hydraulic fluid volume recovered to calculate depth of leak site. Pump seal tight sealant into control line and displace it down the control line with hydraulic fluid. When the sealant reaches the leak site, manipulate control line pressure to form an initial seal in the leak site. Increase control line pressure in steps to above normal SCSSV hold open pressure. Note that a longitudinal split in a control line may grow if excessive pressure is applied. When dealing with a control line leak which behaves like a split, SCSSV hold open pressure should be reduced if possible. Flow the well to normal flowing temperature while monitoring for control line leakage. Excess sealant remains in the line and behaves as control fluid. If required, install seal tight injection cylinder and or back pressure tool on surface control line to prevent sealant from being forced up the control line during a shutdown.